first year lags, they're newly refurbished and ready for use. You'll spend about three hours in here a week and there are lots of cool experiments including x-ray diffraction and optical microscopes. So as an undergraduate you'll get full access to the computer rooms here and these are really handy during exam time. In first year you'll be using these computers to learn um, a program called MATLAB which is something that a lot of lecturers and researchers use. MATLAB is really handy for doing projects that you can't do experimentally, so theoretical projects for example. So this is the undergraduate common room. It's one of my favourite places to come in between lectures. As you can see, there's a large space for everyone to interact. It's a really good thing about the physics building because everyone gets to know each other. It doesn't matter what year you're in. Um, come here, make a cup of tea, and um, everyone helps each other with coursework. If you don't understand anything in your lectures, you can ask a fourth year. The University of Nottingham has one of the largest physics societies in the country. FISOP run trips all around the world, go to CERN and Amsterdam, and lots of different nights out and things where you can get to know all the other physicists. We also run a lot of different things with different science societies, ChemSoc, BioSoc, so you'll get to know lots of different people through our society. So in 1930, Einstein gave a lecture and here is the blackboard from it. It was the caretaker that saved it. It was going to be thrown in the bin, but here we have it today. So this is the brand new sports centre, the David Ross Sports Village. You can buy a yearly membership for about £189, I think, which is basically includes everything. The sports centre has football pitches, it has uh, a climbing wall, it has a gym, it has a spin classroom, basically anything you can think of. Most first year students tend to live on campus in halls or in some of the halls located just off campus. All of the halls on campus are catered um, and most of the halls off campus are self-catered, uh, unless you're in St Bonington, which is a mixture of the two. This is Rutland Hall behind me. There are, I think, about 12 catered halls on campus. I didn't live in halls myself, but I know lots of people that did, and it's a really great way to meet other students, especially those that aren't on your course. It's within a stone's throw of most of your lectures. Um, you could end up on one side of campus while your lectures are on the other, but it's still only a 10 or 15 minute walk. This is the Portland building and it's mainly where the Students' Union is based. So if you want to get involved in societies or sports or politics or if you're looking for advice, uh, then this is the place to come. They've also got lots of shops and the Student Union bar and pub. <laughs>